Boys, good TK game. Now, today's video, I'm going to be talking about Jalen LeQ. We all know Jalen is currently a five star guard ranked in the ESPN Top 100 of class of 2019. This video, I just want to talk about Jalen LeQ decided to skip college to enter the 2019 NBA draft and just give you guys my opinion on this decision. So first, if you guys are not informed, Jalen LeQ is in a position where he's deciding if he should go to college next year or just skip college to enter the 2019 NBA draft. Now, I know you guys are probably just wondering, how can he just skip college and enter the NBA draft? Now, this is the thing. During Jalen LeQ's junior year in high school, he decided that he was going to reclassify the class of 2018, which means he was verified academically by his high school and the NCAA that he's eligible to reclassify to the class of 2018 and also be able to play for the 2018 season in college. But later during the year, Jalen has decided that he's going to stay in the class of 2019 and transfer to a different school called Brewster Academy, which is where he's going to play at for his last year of high school until he officially graduates. So in my opinion, Jalen LeQ is in a real good situation just because he already met all the academic requirements to graduate high school and go to college and play for the NCAA. But as you can see, he decided to stay in high school, which means he don't have to do anything for his last year of high school. All he had to do is play basketball. That's why they label him as a fifth year high school student, just because he don't have to do anything. So it's good that he stay focused on his grades in high school, because as you can see, it gave him multiple opportunities, such as going to college early or staying in high school and being eligible to skip college and enter the 2019 NBA draft. Now, the thing about Jalen LeQ skipping college and entering the NBA draft, the NBA first got to approve him, which means Jalen got to do a little paperwork and the NBA just got to look over his academic records and just see if he's actually old enough to enter the NBA. Jalen is currently 18 years old and turns 19 June the 13th. So he should be good in that area, but the NBA still got to look at his academic records, such as him getting his diploma from his old school called Christ School that's located in North Carolina. They said that he technically did not receive a high school diploma when he decided to reclassify to the class of 2018, still attending Christ School, but as you can see, he decided to stay in the class of 2019 and he also transferred to a different school called Brewster Academy. So it's a little mixture going on and they just gotta figure out everything to make sure he's eligible. The NBA draft deadline is on April the 21st and Jalen said that he's going to make his decision in March. Now, honestly, I know this is really a tough decision for him just because I know he wants to go straight to the NBA. It's clear as day that he just wanna go straight to the NBA, but he just don't wanna make the wrong move. The thing about this NBA decision is that Jalen is basically testing the waters with these NBA scouts to see how they actually feel about him. He said that if he's not a guaranteed first round pick, then he's not going to enter the NBA. So as you can see, he's really playing out everything and I actually like how he's doing it because he's just not trying to make the wrong moves. So we just got to see what he's going to decide to do in March. I thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you press the notification button. Take your game. We out.